Welcome back to Barton Community College EMS Education. I'm Nick Larmer and I'm going to be talking about the preparatory uh, section of the module one that you've gone through in the EMS class and we're going to start out with going through the preparatory section of EMS systems uh, and what are the different levels of EMS providers, uh, what does an EMT stand for, what is the purpose of EMS and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and dive right in. This is the study guide to prepare you for the module one exam. And so let's go ahead and discuss what these different things that we're looking at here and uh, how they are to be incorporated in for you as the student preparing for this module one exam. So number one, what are the different levels of EMS providers? The different levels of EMS providers, we've got down to the very basic level for our first responders, which we call the EMR, the emergency medical responder, to the EMT, which is what you're doing right now, studying to become an emergency medical technician, and then to the advanced EMT, which allows them to start IVs, give a few more medications than an EMT, as well as going on past that to a paramedic level, which in the state of Kansas is an unlimited scope of practice. Now, what does an EMT stand for? EMT stands for earn money training. No, no, it doesn't stand for that. It means earn money teaching. No, again, that's wrong again. EMT stands for emergency medical technician. And we know that they're the basic level provider uh, that we understand that they can provide care uh, in the state of Kansas. And it's probably one of the most uh, obtained uh, certificate in the EMS field in the state of Kansas. So what is the purpose of EMS? EMS is the emergency medical service. And the purpose is to provide excellent patient care uh, that is quick, efficient, and gets to individuals when they call 911 to provide them emergency medical service to transport them to the hospital or transfer them between hospital to hospital uh, throughout the state of Kansas, throughout the United States, throughout the world. So the number four, we talk about offline medical direction. Number five, we talk about online medical direction. So offline medical direction, everybody hold up your phone. Okay, so offline medical direction, we're going to hang up the phone. We're going to hang up the phone because we have a written protocol. Online medical direction, we got to pick up the phone. Hello, ring the phone. That's online medical direction. We've got to talk to the doctor. We've got to talk to medical, the, the medical director and the medical director is the one who's going to tell us what we can and can't do. Now we talked about EMS being that efficient system that runs quickly, uh, gets to people and provides emergency medical care. So the EMD, what is an EMD? We didn't talk about that in those kind of levels of EMS providers. The EMD is the emergency medical dispatcher. When someone picks up the phone, calls, hey, 911, and they say 911, what's the address of your emergency? And they go through their spiel. The EMD is the person providing emergency medical service to them over the phone, walking the caller through CPR, walking the caller through the different steps they need to provide with stopping the bleeding, uh, opening the airway, gathering up their medications, putting the animals away, getting that house ready for us to walk through the door and start coming to provide care for the patients. Now, let's go ahead here and move on to the next one. And so, what are the roles of an EMT? Well, an EMT roles is that we need to provide patient care. We need to uh, make sure the scene is safe. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, we have proper delivery of medications, so on and so forth. Uh, as we talked about this in the early part of class about what the roles. Now, responsibilities of an EMT is to be a team leader, to be a team player. Uh, they need to be a self-starter. They need to be a patient advocate, and so on and so forth. Uh, I notice here that I have integrate. It's integrity. Uh, what is integrity? Integrity is what you do when no one else is watching. Uh, you know, making sure that you, the provider, are providing excellent patient care even when no one's got their magnifying glass watching you to make sure that uh, you're providing that excellent patient care. What is empathy? What is compassion? What's the difference? Empathy. Empathy is feeling someone else's feeling. Compassion is having that general self-care for others, that, that, that care for others. You know, we, we want to make sure other people are taken care of. 
So compassion is what we have in EMS. Empathy is feeling what everybody else feels. And we don't know how people feel. I don't know how you feel. You don't know how I feel. Uh, empathy is actually feeling exactly what they're going through. Compassion is having that general uh, care for another um, and wanting to see the best for them. What is communication? Communication is making sure that I send a message, you receive it, and you received it properly the way I encoded that message to be received. Um, and communication is very important in EMS, and we've got to make sure that communication, whether we're talking patient with interpersonal communication, we're talking with phone communication, radio communication, whatever we're doing, we've got to make sure that the messages are sent and received the way that they were intended to be sent and received. What's quality assurance? Quality assurance basically means we're making sure that we're doing the same thing that we need to do every single time and that it doesn't change. We're assuring that it doesn't change and that it's quality. Quality means that we have a standard that we have to uh, run by. What's quality improvement? A standard for constant improvement. So we take the calls we run on. Maybe we never ran on this kind of person before, but we do quality improvement. We make sure that uh, with this type of patient that we ran on, uh, we want to make sure that we improve for the next time that this happens. So that's quality improvement. What is the purpose of EMS? Well, uh, the purpose of EMS is that we need to provide that excellent patient care to individuals and uh, we also want to make sure that the purpose of EMS never gets construed to earn money sleeping earn money teaching. Oh wait, that was EMT, excuse me. Um, we want to make sure that it doesn't stand for egos. E stands for egos. M stands for macho. It doesn't mean it stands for macho. And S stands for self-service. It doesn't mean that, okay, if I could change anything, um, you know, E is going to still stay for emergency, okay? And then M, M is going to stand for medical. And then if I could change it with the S instead of service, I would change it for selfless acts of service, okay? Because when we provide these, we may not get recognition. We may not get the uh, who hoorays, you know, good job for what you did. EMS stands for emergency medical service. And that service is what we provide to individuals every day. That's the end of the PR1 section, talking about the intro to EMS. Uh, remember, we also talked about history in this section. Um, so a little bit about the history and how that all kind of came about. Remember back to, uh, you know, the early on uh, module that you did on the very first night of class. Um, and then, you know, now we're going to dive right in in the next video into PR2, which is talking about research. So stay tuned and uh, good luck on your module one exam.